Check, check, girl. <laughs> you are in such a delightful mood this morning. Relax your little head. Relax your little head. Hey, Aura. Are you in happy mode? Will you get that ninny out your mouth, you no. little tit? <laughs> you little I'm little. You don't need a ninny. You are two and a half years old. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What's this? What's this? What's this? No, what's that? She's like, that's going straight in my mouth, Mama. I'm in a good mood even though I was up every single hour last night. <laughs> Careful, Mila, not right in her face, darling. Good girl. Aurora! What are you doing? <laughs> are you going to roll over? But we're going to show everyone you're rolling. You see me rolling. Your nappy looks so bulky today. Got a bulky nappy on. You got a bulky nappy on. <laughs> Put that head down, you cheeky girl. Good morning, iPhone. Welcome to today's vlog. We're all up and ready this morning. We're about to head on out to the supermarket because we got a new juicer. <laughs> we got lots of stuff to juice. Oh, I'm so excited. I want to start drinking celery juice because it's meant to be really good for your health. You like orange juice? We'll get some oranges then. Black currant. We like. Oh, good. Are you okay? Yeah. You okay? Also, I'm super gutted because I only realised this last night. But when I got my hair cut the other day, when she was brushing it with her comb, she accidentally caught my earring. Uh, my, is it your helix? Your helix, right? She, she thought that was the door. <laughs> she accidentally caught my earring, and I was like, "Oh, sorry." And I was like, "Oh no, don't worry, it's fine." I didn't realise that she'd pulled the thing out, and it's gone. Can you get one? Uh, uh, so it's gone. I only realised last night. We'll go to that tire street and pick one up. No, I'm not going into town today. I can't be bothered. I'm not going to all the way to. Here. Towns there. I don't it's care. Like I can't be bothered. Away. No. It'll Park in the car. Get Aurora out. It'll heal up. Drive. I don't care. I only got it done for Isabel. We can get some lunch. Oh, food, now you're talking. <laughs> Anyone else? <laughs> Anyone else relate to that? If you think about it, if you leave it out, it's going to be left out till, till like for another four days. Yeah, but it's been in four years or something. Exactly. Someone will close up in four days when it's been you know, in every day for four you've years. You've been in Portugal in 2020. 2020. 2020. You always need a few weeks for some over you, do Yep, I always. And do you know when Easter's done? I'll need to fry Lila's birthday. And do, do you know when Lila's birthday is done? I know. I'll need stuff for summer. Yes, you will. And when summer's done, I'll need right. stuff for Esme's birthday. Right. And then the other child's birthday, and then the other child's birthday, and then another child's birthday, and then do you know next year it starts all over again? Okay. It's just a vicious cycle of having so many children. It is a vicious cycle. I love it. There's always someone to buy for. Mummy. <laughs> so we bounced out the house to go shopping to go get a couple of bits that we need because obviously it's Easter weekend, shops are all going to be shut. And we've got a few things happening this weekend that we need a lot. <gasps> So, <laughs> you always do that. So embarrassed. <laughs> then everyone looks and Chris is sat on. Yeah, it was me. I let on the horn. <laughs> it was me. I'm an idiot. You actually are. Um, so we've been shopping, but it turned out as like one of our actual typical shopping trips, as do most days at the minute, because when we got to the shops, Aurora had fallen asleep, so I ended up sitting in the car with Aurora, obviously fast asleep. Sarah does all the shopping on her own, and then comes back to the car, and then we go home. Um, but I tried to prove that we we're actually at the shops. You wanted to prove that we were at the shops? You <laughs> yeah, because we expected to come to the shops and do a bit of filming, some content, you know. No, no. No, guys, I had to take the camera because Chris was, it wasn't good, it was like in the light, it's just the sun shining through and it just was not good. Are you moaning about lighting? Half my face was in the light, half wasn't. No, it was you moaning about the lighting. Said, so I can't film me like that. Half your face didn't show and half. Anyway, the point was, is that Chris said he was taking me out for lunch. You heard, in fact, in fact, it was caught on camera. So you can't even say if it wasn't booked. Why did I fall asleep? What am I supposed to do? So I bought you a bag of sausage rolls? No, you didn't. I didn't get a single well, sausage roll. I bought roll. you a brownie. I got a brownie. So his idea, I was like, well, where are we going for lunch? And I was like, I don't know. Should we go to Coupland's and get some sausage freaking rolls? I didn't know. No! Brought yeah. sausage rolls from Coupland's. So he, he pulls up at Coupland's. The conversation like, was a bit longer than that. It wasn't. He I pulls was like, up, we pull up at Coupland's. No. No, I'm trying to make an excuse. <laughs> we pull up at Coupland's and he goes, do you want no sausage rolls? And I said, no, I don't want no sausage rolls. He went, all right. Went and got yourself four sausage rolls, came back, threw a brownie at me. Here, I got you a brownie. And it tasted disgusting, it's horrible. I wasn't taking you out for lunch there, though. You, 
it was just a rider fell asleep, so we couldn't really do much. That was, so, so that was our lunch day home with. <laughs> yeah, you, got, you got dressed up in that today for me. No, I did not get dressed up today. This, this outfit doesn't fit me. I'd put a hoodie on because it clings me like a sausage roll. Oh, perfectly. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm moaning about my nails. Is this this, this got to be postpartum to, to go hand in hand with the hair loss, literally. My nails are horrendous. Like, all my fingers are peeling, like, around my nails. My nails themselves just look grey literally constantly 24 7 they're all chapped they're all like breaking but not like a clean break just like breaking in the corners and bit it just they look horrendous not enough vitamins mate clearly what vitamins you need to stop drinking your leek juice what's going on with that finger Wait. sorry I'm, i know it looks like a seven what is going on with that nail there that's just split as i was walking out of aldi not enough vitamins mate. look how disgusting it looks it's not even like a clean split it's like manky you need to get on the leek juice leek juice yeah so that's what happens when you're not really in, you're not really invested. It's not leek juice, babe. It's celery juice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's such a muppet. <laughs> it's such an idiot. I did just go and buy pretty much the whole of Aldi's celery stock. I'm only joking. I left some for everyone else. I'm not selfish. Well, I might be selfish, but but I didn't buy all of celery, Aldi's celery juice. I'm just joking. Right, we're going home. Needed. Yeah, yeah I did buy seven bag. or eight bags of it. I bought eight bags. I don't know how much it's going to take. I need to like. Have a go first. You know one of those things where you like use one bag and you can get like six bottles of juice? Or is it one of those things where I need like four bags of celery to even get like one half a glass? I don't know. So I just bought seven or eight bags <coughs> yeah, of celery. Okay. Some ginger and some oranges. I'm annoyed at myself because I broke my rule of no eating in the car. I know when you've made a right mess no, of your sausage it, rolls. No, you made a mess of yourself, it's all over your belly. No, it's all over your legs. Leave me up my belly. There's literally nothing on me. What are you talking about? Where? <laughs> Come, we need to go home, mate. I need to go make the kids Easter baskets Easter tomorrow. I haven't even done them. We need to go. Are you ready to go? Guys, it's taken me a couple of years to realise this. What? But I've got an addiction to spending. Really? <laughs> Mummy, I don't know. <laughs> I called in next. <laughs> I called in next. I actually called in there for a reason. I wanted to buy Mila the little you know the two pack of dresses that i got aurora yesterday two packs for eight, 14 pound i showed them on the vlog at the end of yesterday's vlog i wanted to go in there and buy mila the same ones because they're adorable and they're a really good value and i love them i went in there and to order them because they didn't have any out and i bought kind of oh i ordered them another three set of rompers when next bringing their summer clothes or their new season clothes i can't help myself i get so excited they always have the cutest cutest bits and they had these rompers and I'm, trust me i look online all the time these rompers i'm not i have not seen them online and i was like no i am buying them i took a picture of them on my phone thinking i'm gonna remember those and then i thought no do you know what they didn't have them in stock in mila or aurora size so i took them until the time i ordered them so they're going to be coming in like probably tuesday but I did buy these ones because I thought they were adorable. I only bought them in Aura's size. What size did I get? Three to six. I bought them in three to six months for Aura. I didn't bother buying them for Mila because they didn't have her size in. But I thought, do you know what? They are adorable and such good value as well. £19 for a four pack. So, so they're really good value and they're really nice, gorgeous material. So perfect for summer. I want these. Do you think so they're cute. a really nice shape? Yeah, I love, the, I love this so one. So I got that one. These are my favourite colours for summer. Yeah, I love blues as well. I always think my girls look really gorgeous in blues. So there's this one. And then there is this one. If you can see the material, it's like a waffly but not waffle. Anyway, uh, that one, which is like a more darker navy blue. And then this one, which is so cute with a little white, uh, sorry, white with blue flowers. And then this one. This one's my favourite. With the cute little white cherries, which one's your, the front one? Yeah. The front one's always the best. I know. And then you usually get like a duff one in there that you're like, mm, yeah, probably wouldn't buy that so one. What's a duff one? From this pack. Oh, I'd say the yeah, duff poor, one poor is that bread. one. Yeah, me too. Oh, my bread bun squashed, is he? Don't worry. I'd say that was the duff one, even though that's kind of still cute. The only thing is they're very similar, but I do really like them. Yeah. I think I'm going to order those for Mila as well because I think they'll really suit Mila and they'll be really nice over summer there's nothing worse over summertime than having like faffy outfits on where it's really hot and you've just got faffy clothes on like 
fa faffy clothes on. I know it's like that for me, so yeah, going it's gonna be like that for the little ones as well. So I really like simple outfits like that. It's just cool and airy and cute. Anyway, this is these are the rompers that I saw today. These ones are only £16. That one, they're the nicest material as well, and they're really cool because they're short sleeved, even though they'll be a pain in the bum probably for sun cream. So there's this cherry one, this gorgeous beige apple one, and then this really cute light be be light blue tulip one, which is super cute as well. Like that, I feel like that pack doesn't have a duff one. I feel like all three of those are really cute. So I've ordered those as well for Mila and Dora for summertime. <gasps> oh, I love start of summer. I love the start of like seasons when everything's so fun and you're getting all the new summer clothes. Look at my I'm babies. Right now. I'm it's summer, it's so hot outside I'm today. I put, on, I put on today, I put on a t-shirt and I was like, wait, what do I wear with this? I'm too hot. Yeah, it's really warm. <laughs> GS Chase. I wonder where that was going. I was like, America. Jace has never mentioned that. Yeah, we we need to go to America, don't we, and see Captain America? I wonder. Mm -hmm. What, Mila? I want to go to princess. You want to go to a princess? Yeah. <laughs> We've got to Disneyland, Disney World. We oh. do. We do definitely. You are in such. She's in such a good mood today. She is. She's even laughing. She's laughing at Esme. Are you laughing at Esme? Do you think Aurora? Aurora's a very quiet baby. She is. She, she like never she, speaks. She never babbles. She never speaks. She's just a quiet she's just, one, aren't you? Ah, she's crying. She, she shouts when she's crying. But you've not found your voice yet, have you? She she, so she moves cute. her mouth. She moves her mouth like she's trying to so find her good. voice. But she's not quite found it just yet. Hey guys. Darling. Right guys, right guys. <laughs> so we just sat down. I am supposed to be cracking on, but we're having a bit of a chat now. We're having a bit of a family chat about our two year plan. We've decided. Yeah. Everyone's getting involved. Everyone's like getting involved. And I'm not gonna include the footage, but Esme did just point out, why don't we ever film things like this? It'd be so cool to look back on. Because we never film like our serious, like we film. When we've actually done these plans. When we've done the yeah. plans, it'd be cool to look back on as like actually in a, the process when it was, it was just, just ideas or yeah. thoughts and then watching it come to life. So that's why I picked up the camera to film. Obviously I'm not gonna include a whole year, two year plan because that would be boring for mm -hmm. you guys and the secrets. But, um, <laughs> but yeah. Um, we're about to have a little family chat now, a little family go. You can tell Isabel, Isabel always gets so excited. She's like, it was Isabel that said, can we do it? We'll just put away all the shopping. Isabel's like, no, we can we this, sit down and all no, have a chat? No, we do this over dinner. Yeah, we, we do, do it. And then, Esme, and then Esme's like, no, we can't do that now. We do it over dinner. No, and Isabel's like, talk about it the time. <laughs> Wait, we, 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 we always have things to talk about. It's, it's because, do you remember when we were little and we'd go to Disneyland in December? Yeah. And for like literally six weeks before that, every morning when we walked to school, we'd, we'd chat be about going it. over and over everything that we did. Every that single time. Oh, but also, but no, it was every time. No, it was always, no, it was always through yeah. Disneyland as well. So I used to walk the girls to school and every single morning I'd tell them the same story. And it was, was like, what the plan. We'll go to the breakfast. We'll get a McDonald's breakfast. It was so exciting. We'd big it up every single morning for about three months. For every single trip we did. And we'd, we'd have like a solid plan, but we're doing, we're going to wake up at this time. Oh. Then we're going to all jump in the car and drive to Do Dover. We have like a calendar that we like might the Countdowns. Yeah, we always just have a countdown. Yeah, we, did. Yeah. we did. It was the best. So you selling? I have the best idea for Easter. Oh, you tell, tell me your idea for Easter then. Guess what? What? When we wake up and it's Easter. Yeah. We're going to get all the eggs. Yeah. Crack them up. Right. Get them up. Yeah. Good. Put yep. them in. Put them in the microwave for just one minute. Right. Put a bit more chocolate. Put some ch ch chocolate spread on them. If we're having it, if, if we're having it. Right. And then we add uh, put some breakfast in it. Yeah. Nummy, nummy breakfast. Yeah. Then we put porridge. In. Porridge. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean make them crispy buns that we made the other day? No, not crispy. And put it inside the egg. Oh, well, do you know the th oh, three older girls, Jace? you know what they always used to have for breakfast what? on Easter? Don't pull that box down because there's papers and things in it. But do you know what they always used to have? Do you know what they always used to have on Easter Sunday? Uh, they had their cereal in 
an Easter egg. With milk. With milk. <laughs> so they'd use the Easter egg as a bowl. They'd pour the cereal. Did you hear I said pour then? <laughs> pour the cereal. Pour the cereal. They'd pour the cereal in the bo in the Easter egg and eat it out of that. Do you want to do that tomorrow? Um, oh. <laughs> what about? What about your porridge in an Easter egg? That'd be super. Oh no. Oh yeah, we could. It melt it. Yeah, but that'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, sorry guys, but what an absolutely beautiful day it is today. Look at the sunshine on the fields. So nice. And it's probably one of the first days that I've actually felt sweating. <laughs> like I keep walking around the house going, someone's turned the heating on, they must have done it so hot in here. Anyway, um I've just come upstairs to make Easter gifts for my children. I know that not everyone likes to give Easter gifts. I know that everyone, not everyone wants to. I know that everyone's not able to. I've had years where I barely scraped an Easter egg for the girls. And I've had years like this year where I've been able to go completely over the top and spoil them rotten. And I'm just gonna point out that the years that they went over the top and spoiled them rotten were not better years than the years that we had just one or two Easter eggs and a nice family day. It's what you make of it, it's not what you give. And I just want to point that out before I get an influx of messages saying this is unnecessary. This is not to make our Easter better or anything like that. Our girls and boy don't expect big Easter gifts. We've done, like I said, right from one end of the scale, right to the other end. Some years we think let's just buy a couple of Easter eggs. Some years we're traveling and we don't even get Easter buddies stopping by. And some years I just go a bit crazy. It just depends on how we're feeling, what we've got going on, whether I've managed to do any shopping, etc., etc. So whilst this is a bit over the top this year, it's not gonna be like this every year. It's not like this previously every year. This year I've just gone a bit mad because I wanted to. Um, so that being said, here is the stuff that I've been collecting over the last couple of months, I'd say, for the girls and Jace's Easter basket. Chris just came in, <laughs> so the time lapse swiftly stopped. <laughs> whilst I am um, tried to keep his attention away from the floor. <laughs> right, it's safe to say I went a bit mad this Easter. Um, yeah. Now that I've got everyone's piles sorted, I'm gonna arrange them nicely into their baskets slash gift bags. Right, it's time for dinner. I'm excited hello. for this one. Did you say hello? Hello. <laughs> I am actually quite excited for this one. I'm making it screamy sweet chili chicken wraps and I'm also going to make some paprika potatoes to go with it. So I think this is what we need. <laughs> there might be something else. I'm just throwing things in as we go along. So we got some cheese, some wraps, some chicken, some seasonings, some cream cheese, onions, some peppers, some spuds that I'm going to use to make some. I'm actually going to make these square ones but smoked paprika and then some like side salad for inside your wrap as well or just have as a side salad also where's the sweet chili babe we're not getting off to a good start i feel like the chicken smells funny <laughs> it's not out of date what what are the what are the signs that chicken's gone off i'm sure I smelled one of them it's not out of date though and it looks fine but it just doesn't smell fine I don't know if I can get on board with that now. No, I think if you, if you if yourself think it smells funny then... Do you think it smells funny? I think it smells like cheese. Esme thinks it smells like cheese. Do you think that smells funny? Smell it. <laughs> yeah, it kind of smells like... It's a bit sour, vinegary yeah, or something. Yeah, something, yeah. Do they both? Smell them not. Yeah, yeah. They smell the same? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it smells that. It's been dramatic. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. It doesn't smell that bad. Give over. Does that yes. smell bad? Yes. Smell it. Yes. Ah! Smell. <laughs> you can't smell. Yeah, Esme's head's right and she can't smell anything. Right, well, now what then? I'm not going to eat that chicken because 
it smell it smells to me i do have more chicken I, I bought chicken today i bought that one like three days ago and i bought the chicken that i bought today but I, we've got friends coming over on monday and i wanted to make i wanted to use that chicken then because i'm cooking a meal on monday um and i thought the shops were all closed so i didn't think there'd be another opportunity to get chicken but if the shops are open Probably, monday yeah, and you can up to the shops in the morning yeah, and we'll use fine. the new chicken now so i'm just gonna bin that why don't we throw it out for like the foxes or something Cat pretty raw meat, raw chicken. I'm not sure. I don't think she would. I think she's too pretty. pretty. <laughs> it's a bit too warm. And it's like that. This is raw meat. I mean, there's no way. Yeah. <laughs> this is no way. Right, I'm gonna use the fresh chicken, not that one. Okay, so take two. What I'm gonna do first is put the fresh chicken into a ziploc bag, and I'm gonna season it. Got the adults chicken and the children's chicken there and now i'm going to chop up the potatoes i'm just going to dice them into little squares like that and then i'm pardon oh you got me a knife thank you and then i'm going to chop up the onions and the peppers Okay, we've got all of our veggies in the pan with some garlic and some paprika. I'm going to turn that on and then I'm about to cook the chicken on the grill. Next. Thank you for helping me grate the cheese, JC boy. <laughs> Guys, this grill thing is the best thing I have ever, ever bought. There is no way this would all fit in one pan. I love it. Okay, when your veggies have been going for about five or so minutes, we're gonna add a nice big helping of sweet chili sauce. And then give that a mix. There's no set amount, just add whatever you think, basically. Just We're just doing it to taste, so add whatever amount you desire. And then I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of cream cheese. And then just give that a good mix. Excuse me, mister, get off my cheese. <laughs> and then finally, a nice big handful of cheese. I want to put there some we. cheese And then finally, we're just gonna add all of the cooked chicken, diced up, cut up, chopped up, however you fancy it, to the pan and give it all a good mix. I've made up the wraps and I'm about to pop them into the air fryer for about eight minutes. Oh, Our wraps are mini ones. <laughs> we don't actually have normal size. They're the really small ones. So I've just made up a massive amount. I'm just gonna line them now and pop them in the air fryer. <laughs> right guys, these don't look the best. <laughs> but, oh, <clears throat> what are you rating it girls? So good. A million out of 10. A million, the wraps are so I cut the camera off by accident, but the girls are rating it a million. Mm. What's going on with makeup? So I've been cooking so hard. <laughs> the girls are rating it a million out of ten. Mm. What do you like mm. about it? Yeah, the chicken's so soft. And the chicken's so soft. So, so like creamy and nice. I, oh. I think the wraps are really nice. Like they just like the physical wrap itself. <laughs> this is a good one. This is a good one, guys. I like the potatoes best. You like the taties? Yeah. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> 